I really, really, really didn't want to do it. But I had to. He left me pregnant and alone. When I found out I was pregnant, I was a little shocked. In the beginning, I was having some symptoms and I was like, uh-oh. So, I took a pregnancy test and the first one was negative. I was like, okay. And then, a couple days later, I was like, you know what? I really think I am. So I took another one and it was positive. So, it was a pretty big surprise, but it was a good surprise. <laughs> Since my husband and my two older kids left me behind on the homestead, I'm having to do all the chores. Well, this is our oldest flock of chickens. And in the morning, I come out here and I feed them first, gather the eggs, make sure they have water, and then they're all taken care of. And there's actually one chicken in here that we got her before we moved down here. So I know she's at least eight, probably nine years old, maybe 10 years old. It's kind of crazy for a chicken. And here she is, right here. <laughs> She's lived this long, so we might as well just keep her around. So we have egg layers up there, more egg layers down there, we have meat chickens, we have turkeys, we have ducks, ducks, and more ducks, and goats to top it off. <laughs> so I guess he really does trust me to take care of all these animals by myself. We have like 300 animals this year, and I know I left her with a lot to do, and I feel really, really bad about that, but I'm confident that she can do it. We've both been through a lot the past few years, has made us both a lot tougher. She's pretty tough, so I think she can do it. Besides, she has Micah to help her out. Oh. <laughs> 
now lift the tail. the most bird we've ever had at one time and in the beginning I was a little doubtful that I could actually take care of everybody but thankfully I feel pretty good in the mornings so I've been starting early and uh, I don't start feeling bad till I don't know mid-morning or so, so I better pick up my pace right now because I definitely don't want to be out here not feeling good. <laughs> kind of have a system down how I like to feed everybody. I start at the top and move down to the bottom because I don't want to be lugging all of this feed up and down the hill a million times. So right here, we have our Muscovies, which is kind of like a rehab center because they kept pulling each other's feathers out and they were all bloody. So there's six in here and uh, they've done really well in here. Oh, grab the water. Give them fresh water. And they're way less noisy too. They don't get as flustered as easy. They're not as loud. But they do like to beat up on one another. That is the downside. And these guys, they don't even try to escape. I can leave this down. I could probably leave it down all day and they'd stay in there which is amazing for birds, if you've ever raised any kind of birds. We have this black mat on here to keep the rain out, but also to give them some shade. And I leave it cracked to give them some good ventilation. And they've been totally fine with this setup. Now we're gonna go see ducks that are much different from these. They're much more mouthy and they're way more skittish. chicken tractor at night, or duck tractor, and then during the day, I just set it on top because it have a little more shape. <laughs> These guys are 
our pecans and our buffs. Uh, the pecans are our meat ducks, and the buffs are just some ducks that Sayla wanted to, to try. So she got to pick. She got to pick those. They all were in this chicken tractor, and I was moving them around, but they just got too big for that small space. So I set up the fence area and pulled them in here just to give them more room. And I can put them in the chicken tractor at night to protect them from the owls and aerial predators. And then during the day, they get to have free range and eat bugs and grass and things like that. This year we're letting the land rest in our garden spaces so Lacey doesn't have to worry about taking care of any of that. But it is a lot to do with moving the animals around because we're moving them through those spaces to eat up what has grown up, the weeds and all that other stuff, but also to leave their fertilizer behind. And then after we move them out in those areas where they left their manure and all that, we had pine shavings and other things for organic matter to help them improve the soil. I don't expect her to do every single thing like I do when I'm normally there, but I'm sure she's doing the best she can. I was moving all of these Muscovies around in the garden in a chicken tractor as well. But this thing is a beast to move and I don't have the guns that Mike has. <laughs> so I made a decision just to bring them over here and let them eat all this other stuff down. And also hopefully they'll quit pulling each other's feathers out since they have a little bit more room. During the time that Sayla, Josiah, and I will be away from the homestead, I'm really going to miss the farm fit exercises that I get from just doing the day-to-day -day chores. <sighs> However, we are going to get a lot of physical activity from being at a youth camp. Where we're going to play basketball, football, softball, and all kinds of other physical activity. And we're going to get some exercising for sure. But there's also going to be things like leather working and things like that and I didn't know prior to making the commitment of serving and being a part of this youth camp that Lacey was going to be pregnant. I had no idea but she's going to be all right. We're gonna, she's going to get through it. But I am really excited about the opportunity. What about you guys? You excited to be at camp? Yes! And I am too. I'm really looking forward to investing in youth. It's one of the goals that I have. So even though I have to be away for two weeks, which is going to be the longest that Lacey and I have ever been apart the whole time we've been married, so uh, it's going to be a stretch. Uh, I think we can do it. My morning chores continued as I moved on to the broilers, feeding and watering them. Micah helped me gather the eggs at our laying flock. And finally, we moved on to our ducks down by the pond, where Micah helped me gather the eggs and I made sure they had enough feed.
I washed up and headed out to milk the goats, my final chore of the day. I'm finally done. I can come inside and rest. Thankfully, I'm finally done with the chores. It's getting to that time of day where I really need to eat. So I came inside, made me some eggs, cheese. I have some dilly beans for my probiotics. And Today it has taken like three times as long to do the chores anyway because I'm recording it and you know it gives me a little window into what Mike has to do on a daily basis with recording and doing all the chores. But I'm definitely glad to be done and after this I'm going to take a nap. I know all those chores can be really really tough and I can't imagine how hard it is for her to do it while being pregnant. Uh, I hope it's not too much for her. Just have to see. It's gonna be really tough while I'm away, being away from her, to Micah, and the homestead. Just have to see how things go. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me 